Of amplifiers has been a pretty big success and they were one of the first companies to come out with a battery powered cube amplifier that actually would last for many hours without you having to change the batteries. In fact um, almost a day's solid playing on the first uh, micro cube. Now they've come out with something called the mobile cube which is even smaller, looks a bit like a transistor radio, it's, it's great for busking as you might imagine but I think it would also sound good mic'd up in a bedroom don't you think Jonathan? Certainly would. Uh, basically, what we've got here uh, with the brand new micro, uh, mobile cube is the ability, first of all, to plug in several different inputs. So, if I turn it around, you can have a look. You've got quarter inch jack input for your microphone, stereo inputs for your keyboards, your guitars, uh, maybe multi effects, something like the ME20 running into it. You've got the mini stereo jack input, plug your iPod in, your MP3 player, anything like this, and your phono inputs. Now, on the top, you've got a dedicated section for the microphone volume. Select what input you're using. If you go to the guitar section, you have clean, you have overdriven, and you have distorted. Tone control, a chorus, and basically, you delay and reverb, so two modulations there. So it's rather simpler than the other units? It is, it is a lot simpler to use. Uh, it's more versatile from uh, a, uh, a range of musical instruments point of view. Um, but one uh, very, very cool feature for buskers especially is the centre cancel. You plug your MP3 player in, switch the centre cancel on, what it does is it removes whatever's in the middle of a recording. So, in, in many ways, you could get rid of your singing, you could get rid of your lead guitar solo, and replace it yourself by plugging directly into the machine. So this essentially takes anything, centre pan that's mid-range in the spectrum, I would guess. Correct. So if you wanted to make some backing tracks up in your home studio, you could probably <laughs> feed some records into here and record it out of the headphone jack. Absolutely. Correct, yes. Yeah. Well, I think this would work really well mic'd up, because um, although it can go quite loud, you can get a very convincing sound at a modest level. Absolutely. There's always been a problem in the home studio that we've had to go with plugins or modelling because sure. um, we don't want to wake the neighbours. Sure. Well, I mean, this is it's, it's a 5 watt uh, amplifier. And it's stereo, isn't it? It's stereo. And so, uh, yeah, mic this up, you're going to get a uh, you're going to get an authentic guitar sound. As I mentioned, you can run your multi effects into this, and so you can create your, you know, at, at reasonable volumes in the house, you can get a great guitar sound through it. Can we ask you when this is going to be available and roughly what it's going to cost? Uh, yeah, it's uh, available uh, from next week and it's going to cost uh, 99 pounds. That's excellent. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> Sound